Hi! A few months ago, Stampin' Up! had to retire their Stampin' Trimmer. Well, now its much anticipated replacement is here with a name that'll be easy to remember. And so, watch as I do a quick review of the Paper Trimmer. It cuts in, it scores, but we'll look at how well it does both. I'm Shelly Godby. The owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and for 18 years I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. And so what's the name of this? Oh, you're right, Paper Trimmer. Here's a closer view of the Paper Trimmer. I have it turned sideways so you can see the entire Paper Trimmer to point out a couple features I know you'll really like. And we'll turn it in just a bit when we're ready to start cutting and scoring. But first I want to show you, it comes with two blades. The dark gray is the cutting and the lighter gray is the scoring. And look at the length of this cutting track. It is so long you can easily put in your cardstock or paper. Here we go. And the scoring, say I don't want to score, I just move that out of the way and start cutting. Or there is so much room, I can have both at the other end. All right, so look and start cutting from that end if you preferred. So long, in fact, because this is eight and a half by 11 cardstock, I still can do the same thing with 12 by 12. Look, you have room at both ends for the blades. Fabulous. All right, so let's go ahead and give it a quick turn, and then we'll do some cutting and scoring. We've got the paper trimmer rotated and almost ready to do some cutting and scoring. But I wanted to show you something. So remember how nice and long our cutting track is. We can move the blades to either end and be able to cut and score from either. Well, look how long. We have an extension arm, and this comes out very nice. You can measure out to be on 17 inches. And talking about measuring, look, six inches, really popular, is right here. Okay, and so you see we've got lines every quarter inch up to the five inches. Well, that's really important because when you're cutting, so this is eight and a half by 11. I want to cut it in half for my card base. So I'll set this at four and a quarter. So we've got four and the half is a, almost as long as the inch lines, but not quite. And then the quarters are a little bit less, but they're the most prominent. So I put this on the line, not next to it, but on the line. And then you've got these lines every quarter inch. So it's important to butt it up against here so you square it off, but then you also make sure that it follows the line. And so you've got it nice and square. So say I want to do four and one eighth inch, I would set it there. Okay, I don't have a line all the way down, but I'm still going to use them and look that it looks equal distance the whole entire length. And, and so along here for the six inches, because it's like I said, a really popular size, this line follows all the way down. So very convenient. And then I wanted to see what else I had going on here. And when I saw this paper trimmer on the Greek Isles cruise, we got to see it ahead of time. I wasn't sure what I was going to think about uh, the imperial measurements down here, the inches. Love it. I, no adjustment whatsoever. But I wanted to see what measurements I had here. So I got out my ruler and lined it up. And so we've got six, we know that. Six and a quarter, there's a line. Here's six and a half. And um, so we've got, you know, the six and eighth, six and a quarter, and the six and a half. And if I want to do six and three eighths, and that happens every once in a while, well, there it lines up with the edge of the ruler part. So we've got everything covered. Fantastic. So when you don't need this, you just fold it back in place. Like I said, nice and compact. And so we've got the two cutting blades, and let me show you, you know, these, you know, back and forth, but when it's time to replace them, you'll bring it down here in the cutting track. Oh, let me show you this. I'm doing what I need to show. Because when I first got that, I thought, wow, that's really locked in place. And, but I was trying to lift from here. Instead, put your hand over here, this in the center. Look how easy that pops up. It's still habit. I'm doing this and fighting it just right here. Oh my goodness. So, you know, if you start that way, you won't be trying to unlearn a bad habit <laughs> while recording your video. Okay, so, oh, here. Here we go. And so along this track, you know, it's straight all the way down until you get right here and there's a little notch out of there. Well, that's how 
oh here that's how that's where you take it to to remove when you need to um, replace your cutting and scoring blades. But I want to get these out. There we go. I thought I'd make that look harder. So here is the cutting blade. Can you see how long that actual blade is? Well, you'll be even more impressed when we compare it to the blade from the Stampin' Trimmer. You know, we did fine with these, but I think we're going to do just so much better. Look. Oh, can, we, can I turn that? So you can see the length of that. Actually, it's even hard to see. It is maybe a quarter of this other. And the scoring, let's go ahead and put this back in. The scoring is impressive, too, and I'm still reaching from the wrong side. I'll, I'll get it. And so we'll find that little groove. There we go. And the scoring on the old one for the paper trimmer, we've got this little ball. You know, like I said, we did just fine. We, oh, there we go. Turn it where you can see it. And, but this one, wow. You know, it's a lot bigger and just takes less time. It's not back and forth, back and forth. Every little bit we save time, we can do, you know, have more fun creating cards and pop that back in. There we go. Fantastic. So how about we do some actual cutting and scoring now? Now we're finally ready to do some cutting and scoring. So we will easily pick this up from that side. I'm learning. Set this at four and a quarter. And I want to show you those blades first because you don't need much pressure. I'm just going to move that out of the way. It didn't create a score line because I didn't put any pressure on it. And so the first time I cut with this, I did my normal uh, press and bring it down. And I had a little bit of a lip and I wasn't pleased with that. Well, since then I've learned um, because we've got such a big blade, you just want a light touch. And this is how I figured out to get a really nice light touch. Instead of pressing down, trying to just determine if I'm if I'm pressing light or not, you know, too hard, not hard enough, because I normally have a pretty light touch. And for me to tell you how, how hard to push, you know, that's just really, it's individual. Instead, we've got this, let's just pull. Use that to pull. So we're not pushing hard. Here we go. Let me just get that out. And look at this beautiful cut. V no lip whatsoever. Very, very happy with that. And so I can slide this in without being able to put my hand there. I wasn't getting it up easily. And we'll put this at five and a half. I can't wait to show you the score line. So while that's up, we'll move it out of our way. There we go. And, and we'll just press with this. Okay, so we won't go back and forth. We'll resist. And we've got a real nice deep score line. I'm not sure if you can see that in the camera, but I promise. There we go. Can you? Very, very nice. Okay, something else I want to show you about with the um, Stampin' Trimmer blades. Look, we had that little arrow on there. And, and I used that arrow to be able to cut a center out of well, some paper or cardstock. And uh, I thought, uh oh, what will we do? Well, there are lines here and we can trust them like we did the arrow. Another nice thing about this is look how extra wide this part is to be able to balance. Very nice. We're used to that being probably about half of that, if maybe even a little bit less. And so that is really nice because sometimes you want to cut at one inch and and you want to come from over here and you can't because there wasn't anything to balance on now you can okay so i cut this to four by five to keep the measurements really easy and i want to cut a hole to leave me a one inch border all the way around so we'll place this at three inches keep this up and we've got over here our ruler and that little line i'm lining that line up with the one inch mark and so we will pull till we get to four because this is five, so we're just subtracting one until that lines up with the four. We'll pick it up, we'll rotate, and so I can do this at four inches again. Set this to where um, that little line on there lines up with the line on the one, and we'll pull down to three inches. There we go. And ah, picking that up so easily. And this is where if we wanted, we could go to one inch. Okay, 
because we have all of that extra over here. Line this up to one. There we go. And you just totally trust that. I don't need to see through the paper or anything. We're just following that. And oh, I'm so thrilled with how easy this is lifting up now. And I'll come back over here. And again, one inch to three. And there we go. So you still can totally trust. This time, instead of the arrow, we'll trust the line. And you can do fancy things like this. Isn't that great? And so the paper trimmer, if I forgot something, I'll tell you about it later. But I'm really happy. Like I said, that, you know, anyone, especially if, you know, our hands start to get arthritis, that we don't have to work at this. We'll just gently pull. Very, very nice. And cutting and scoring like crazy. And all of these great measurements. It's a very nice trimmer and it's available to order starting November 1st, 2019 in my online store. Thank you for watching my quick review of the new paper trimmer and it's available to order November 1st, 2019 my online store www.shopwithshelly.com and if you'd like more of my stamping tips well I invite you to subscribe to the Stampers Insider. It's your free stamping source for inspiration, information, and ideas. Just go now to www.thestampersinsider.com to subscribe. I'm Shelly Godby teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.